Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirana here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. And today I wanted to show you how you can make your own yogurt right in your Instant Pot. There are a couple reasons you might want to consider making your own yogurt. The first is if you eat a lot of yogurt, this is a very cost effective way to do it. Also, you have all the control of the ingredients. You can choose the best ingredients and avoid all of the other additives and weird flavorings and colors that some companies add to theirs. What I'm sharing today is just a basic recipe. You can change it up in many ways. I will also put a link in the description box below to my blog post that will give you some other options, some ideas on how to zest it up, change it up, do a couple different things. But this is how I make it. This recipe is super simple. It starts with a half a gallon of milk. The key is you want ultra pasteurized milk. You probably can't see it. Maybe you can. Um, I tend to find that buying organic milk is what's going to give you ultra pasteurized. Almost all, but not all organic milks are ultra pasteurized. And the reason being that we're not going to boil the milk. We're just incubating it, just making it warm. So you want to make sure there's no bad bacteria. So just regular pasteurized milk is not good enough. You need ultra pasteurized. If you're using regular milk or raw milk, there's a whole other process you need to follow. So keep that in mind because I haven't made it in a while, or if, imagine if it's your first time making it, you do actually need to start with yogurt. What you really need is the culture. You can buy the bacteria if you want. Um, I find it's easier just to pick up some plain Greek yogurt at the grocery store just make sure you look at the ingredients and then it will say on here active cultures and list off the bacteria that are in here once i've made this i usually pull a little bit out and just keep it in the fridge and that's what i use in place of this for my next batch for sweetener the original recipe that i found called for sweetened condensed milk and that's what i have here that's what i use the original recipe called for half a gallon of milk and a whole can of sweetened condensed milk, which just seemed like a lot to me. And I did make it, it was good, but now I find I use about a third of a can. I usually end up using about a third and then dividing this into two little containers to put in my fridge to save for my next batch. And then after it's done its thing, when it's finally ready to go, I do add a little vanilla extract just to add a little vanilla flavor, but you can leave it plain or use a different extract flavor up how you want. So let's pull this together and you can see how easy this is. I have my instant pot. You leave it on venting when you put it on. So there's nothing special. It's really just a glorified crock pot in this instance. I'm going to take my milk, dump that in. I'm using whole milk. You could probably use 2% or even, I'm not even sure if 1%. I always use whole milk. You could experiment. I've added my milk. The next I'm going to add my yogurt culture. You don't need this whole container just a couple good scoops um, save the rest for something else or just eat it <laughs> and then my sweetened condensed milk I'm just gonna sort of scoop in oops, what looks to be about a third of a can just got milk all over my wall and then I'm gonna whisk this together Put on the top. Easier said than done. Maybe if I lined it up the right way, it will work. Come on. Clearly, I don't use it often enough. There. Little sound means it's closed. Double check that it's on venting. 
And then lastly, if you look here at the control panel, there's this handy dandy little yogurt button. I just push it and it sets the timer for eight hours. You could adjust it if you prefer your yogurt a little more um, zippy, if you will, a little sour. You could up it to nine. I think eight is perfect. It'll start counting it up at eight hours. It'll beep and then we'll put it in the fridge. After eight hours, the alarm goes off and I am ready to see how it looks. You can see there's quite a bit of condensation that adds a little bit of liquid and sometimes I just mop that up with a paper towel. But you can see the yogurt itself has thickened. And now I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge and let it cool. And tomorrow, instead of just leaving it as is and adding some extract like I normally do, I'm going to try and strain it. Now this has been chilling overnight. You can kind of see how it's solidified a little bit. But once I stir this up, it actually comes out pretty runny. And oftentimes that's just how we eat it. Um, I don't mind it nice and liquidy just over berries or mixed into my oatmeal but today i'm going to try to strain it um, and see if we can thicken it up a little bit i'm going to do this right in my sink i have a glass bowl and a metal strainer and i also have a piece of cheesecloth that i'm going to use and i'm just going to pour my yogurt in here and let it sort of sit and drain. The bowl is going to catch the liquid. You could just let it go down the drain. However, there is a lot of good bacteria hiding in there. So I'm going to keep it just in case I want to use it. Oh, 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 disaster. I feared that that was going to happen. Now I'm just going to let this sit and see how much liquid comes out, if any. So I've been letting it strain for, it's been about almost 45 minutes. And I did get a decent amount of liquid out here. I'll just set that aside and show you a decent amount. Not crazy but enough that it definitely has thickened up the yogurt and now I'm not really sure <laughs> the best way to do this I'm going to try to dump it into this bowl and then I'm going to add in what my vanilla that I want to add to it and then I'm going to transfer it to this for sort of storage in the fridge but I have a feeling that this is going to be a little messy so let's just see what happens I don't want to lose a whole bunch of yogurt to this cheesecloth, so I'm going to try to scrape it out. And I know this just <laughs> looks disgusting, and I apologize, but it's not too bad. All right, I'm going to throw this away. Okay, that wasn't bad and it definitely did make a big difference this is much thicker than what i usually get so i'm glad that i did it and i also didn't lose as much volume as i thought i might so the two things i want to do is take a little bit of this and put it in the fridge for sort of my starter for the next batch so i'm just going to scoop out a little 
and this will last for several weeks so I don't have to be in a big rush to make it mm, it's good just plain But I am also going to add in a little vanilla extract just because I do like a little vanilla flavor in my yogurt. Nothing too crazy. I'm only adding one tablespoon. The original recipe that I found um, when I started making yogurt called for two. And I, it's good. I mean, it just makes it very, very vanilla. So if you're just not a big fan of plain you know definitely add as much as you want and you can also try different flavors like i feel like a maple extract might taste good or really you could probably just skip the uh, sweetened condensed milk and just add in maple syrup and remember this is only just a little bit sweetened i used about a third of a can of sweetened condensed milk as my sweetener I've not tried other sweeteners, but I'm sure they would work just fine. So I'm going to transfer this into my jar. I'm not going to make you watch that <laughs> because I expect it will be messy. Um, but there you go. Easy to make homemade yogurt with really very little work on my part. The Instant Pot did most of the work. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will try making yogurt yourself and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button make sure you're subscribed and check out all my additional videos <laughs>